question. And we will take the first question from Martin Herman. It's Martin Herman from Reuters. Uh, well played today, um, Novak. I just wondered um, when you came here in 2016, having won uh, the first two slams of the year and you, and you lost that year, has that kind of been in your mind? And, and is that, does that explain the way that you look so focused, uh, that, you know, the way you've started the tournament? Well, it might be the case. Yeah, I was mentioning uh, in the, <clears throat> my press conference prior to the tournament that. Um, I'm going to try to learn from that experience that I had in 2016, winning two slams, first two slams of the year coming in here in Wimbledon and actually, you know, feeling great, playing great. But then, you know, I lost the third round, of course, against a great opponent. San Quay was a better player today that day, but I just felt a little bit different, maybe a little bit uh, deflated. Um, and I don't want to say demotivated because, you know, playing Wimbledon is, is always a dream for for any player including myself but i just felt uh, slightly different than i felt before and it was the first time i experienced that kind of situation and circumstances so this time um you know probably uh, i would like to think a bit wiser and <laughs> and a bit more experienced as a player in person so uh yeah it helps but you know i'm now in the third round it's uh, again only it only has been two matches into a tournament and it's still a long way to go um, hopefully, I can go very deep in the tournament. That's that's the goal, uh, you know. But I'm I'm very pleased with the way I've been playing so far. Okay, now I'll take a question from our team, Nat Chapman. So my Novak, congratulations. Thank um, you. I know you made a joke on the course of the interview about um, being friends. I spoke about the court a bit slippy at your last match as well. Um, is that just a kind of difficult this time, and if so, how do you feel it after the game? Uh, I'm sorry, Arti, but you will have to repeat your question because I it was interrupted many times. So I'm sorry if you could just speak a slightly slower so I can hear you. Thank you. Sure, yeah, I hope my connection holds out. Um, so you made a joke at the end of the match, I know, about having a good connection with the grass. And I know you spoke after your last match that you found it a little bit slippery. Did you find it as difficult this time? And if so, how did you feel it affected your game? Well, uh, yeah, I definitely had a very close contact with the grass uh, in the first match and also in the second one. Quite a few falls, uh, maybe more than I would, I would like. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I don't... I don't think it's it's about courts. So obviously, it was raining for a few days and maybe first match on the roof, the humidity affects uh, the moist maybe at this kind of surface of the grass and it becomes a bit more slippery than, than you know, than in, in normal circumstances. But I think the fact that I, I didn't play on grass courts for two years, the fact that I'm coming from... Uh, several months of clay court that is uh, a surface completely different uh, in terms of movement and bounce and everything to the grass, the surface in which you slide at all times. So I think I'm still adjusting my movement, adapting myself to, to this surface. And it's been, as I said, only two matches. So hopefully as, um, as the tournament progresses, I'll, I'll also fall less, even though... Um, you know, I don't mind falling more if I if the result is, um, you know, winning a match. OK, go ahead. Howard Fendrich. I know that Howard Fendrich with the AP. Uh, you played very cleanly today, very few unforced errors at all. I'm wondering on a day like that, is there something early in the match, even during a warm up, let's say, or once play begins? that lets you know, oh, I'm on today, this is going to go well? Is there a certain shot or a feeling that you get that lets you know this could be a very clean, good day for you? Well, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's um, just one element, whether it's on the court, in the warm-up uh, prior to the match, you have a just good feeling, you, have, you feel like you're striking the ball cleanly, but sometimes it's more than a few things. Obviously, I was, and I'm, you know, striking the ball really well in general, you know, and I'm, I'm obviously in a high level of confidence of, after winning French. Um, but I was, I was nervous coming into this match because, you know, I was playing a, a, a very good player, experienced player, uh, whom I faced in 
finals three years ago and he's a big server and you know he's very dangerous opponent especially in the early rounds uh but i just you know i've done things uh, on and off the court to make myself feel that i'm um focused but that yet at the same time calm and 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 composed and clear with my uh game plan and what i want to do obviously did my homework talked with my coach worked well on the practice court so i think it's a combination of all these factors that uh, make you feel confident on the court and to execute the shots that you want okay we take a question from tumani karayel I know about Tomani Carroll from The Guardian. Um, just, just to follow up on, on the question about slipping, did seeing, um, obviously, yesterday with Manorino and Serena both retiring, did that at all kind of make you at all nervous or make you even more cautious about moving on the surface? Well, uh, I, I'm not cautious about moving on this surface um, too much, to be honest, because I... I that's you know my movement is a lot of sliding and and I also slide on grass and of course I have to adapt my movement to this surface but um, I was not thinking I didn't have uh, Serena's retirement uh, or and 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 uh, Manarino's retirement in my head to be honest today uh, even though that's that's very sad to see I mean and. Uh, <sighs> I, I can't I can't speak on behalf of the other players whether they feel that the courts are maybe a bit bit more slippery than than maybe previous years but uh, you know for me I think it's my movement that is probably a bit more aggressive and dynamic first steps and change of directions you know and that 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 I've carried on from the clay court season to to grass and as I said, you know, the more matches you play because practice session and practice sets and, and, and official match is completely different, you know, with nerves and everything. And so, uh, of course, you're going to tend to fall slightly more uh, in official matches. But, you know, that's 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 all really. OK, we just have time for one more English question. Oliver Brown. Hi, Novak. Um, extraordinary high level today with just six unforced errors, I believe. I, I just had a broader question. I mean, the next two or three years with with Roger and Rafa um, picking and choosing which which majors they compete in. Are you and your team perhaps looking at the next two to three years to to, to dominate as you as you never have before? Is that is that in your thinking at all? Uh, well. I look to I look to peak at the biggest tournaments in our sport, and I've said it before. Uh, at this stage of my career, Grand Slams are the one that matter the most, and of course, thousand events on the ATP Tour, and I try to, you know, try to maintain the high position on the rankings. But since I reached the historic number one, for me now the priority is playing well well on Slams and Olympic Games. Obviously, the, this this year being Olympic year. Uh, in terms of dominating, I, I, you know, it's a, it's very relative, you know, what the dominant do, domination means really for, for me, it's probably something else for someone else. Uh, I don't play as many tournaments as I've played, you know, in the past, uh, years. So, you know, I, I have different priorities, different focus and, and, and goals. Um, so you know that's 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 all I can say about the way I've been feeling right now and what I'm aiming for in in professional tennis. Uh, okay. Can we can we do a few more questions? I see a lot of uh, unsatisfied journalists on the screen, so maybe two more English questions. Is it okay? Uh, well, we're going to run over time. If that if you want me. Is there anybody who's booked with the? No. Okay, quick, quick, quick questions, guys. Come on, Ubaldo, and um, let's go. Ubaldo and Willy. Okay, okay we have to be, quick. Ubaldo, you have to be very quick because we have limited time that we're allowed to stay in the room. Okay, among uh, many weaknesses of Novak, I would like to know if uh, uh, Djokovic Medvedev for the bookies is the most uh, uh, easy final to predict. Djokovic Federer the second, Djokovic Berrettini the third. Are you surprised? Well, uh, Ubaldo, your 
predictions are uh, second to none. So I will I will uh, allow you to predict uh, the finals as long as uh, there's uh, me in that finals. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave it. Last okay. one. Willie, very quickly, please. Novak, there's a lot of talk, of course, about history, about majors and about age. How do you see the passage of time affecting you both positively and negatively? Um, you know how they say age is just a number. I, that's how I really, that's how I see it. That's the approach that I'm having. I don't really think about, uh, you know, how many years I have been on the tour or it's all about perception. I really believe that a lot of things health wise or just in general about life starts from from your mind mind over matter type of thing so i, I really uh, am positive about life and about uh, taking care about my own health and well-being of myself and my close ones and you know you can't be at your best every day of course but i i, I tend to live a healthy lifestyle that allows me to recover faster to be performing uh, well for for many years and that has been the case so and but i i as i grow older so to say as the life progresses i feel like i'm also learning new things uh about myself on and off the court and and i'm trying to implement uh, different elements uh, in my game and also in my lifestyle that help me to have uh, longevity because i, I want to keep on going i don't have any end to in mind uh, in terms of how many more years i want to play but as long as i feel that 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 desire and as long as I'm fit, I'll, I'll, I'll keep on going. OK, sorry, guys, we've Thank you. got to end the English part there. We will um, take questions in Serbian from Zoran first, please. Bravo, Nole. Hvala. Čestitke na još jedno impresivno igri i sjajnoj, zaista sjajnoj pobedi protiv Kevina Andersona, četvrta ovde na Wimbledonu do sada. Ne znam da li si gledao brojke, imao si devet tasova i šest neiznuđenih grešaka, mislim da je to jedan od tvojih, što bi se reklo, najtečnijih mečeva na Grand Slamovima u smislu tog broja grešaka, da nisi imao daista mnogo. I ako možeš samo da nam kažeš kakav je generalno tvoj utisak o tim brojčanim podacima i generalnoj igri i ono, čisto pošto idemo korak po korak, je li da nam prokomentarišeš kudlu ili sepija, sve zavisi s kim ćeš igrati. Odigrao sam stvarno izuzetno dobro i kvalitetno, veoma sam zadovoljan što sam sveo na minimum brojne izuđenih grešaka, nisam mnogo relija sa osnovne linije i razmena sa osnovne linije izgubio danas, mislim da je to bio ključ nekako u ključnim trenucima kada se lomio rezultat u svakom setu sam uspeo da napravim break, proči toga, izblokirao servis, natero ga da odigra loptu više i sa igračem kao što je on, koji ima izuzetno prodonan, snažan servis, agresivnu igru, to je verovatno ključ pobede. Lakše je naravno reći nego to izvršiti na terenu, ali sve mi je polazilo za rukom danas, zaista sam veoma zadovoljan, izuzetno težak, nezgodan protivnik za drugo kolo Wimbledona, Bio sam veoma fokusiran i hteo sam da ovaj meč uzem izuzetno ozbiljno kao da je završnica turnira i što se ispostavilo da je stvarno rezultiralo s jajnom igrom. Što se tiče naravno protivnika, imao sam s Kudlom ovde jedan meč pre nekoliko godina, ne mogu tačno setim u kojem kolu, dobio sam ga u tri seta, on igra dosta dobro na travi, ima ravne udarce, Sepi je isto vrlo sličan igrač Kudli, ravno iz forhe i backhand strane, nemaju naravno ni približno prodoran i jak servis kao što ima Anderson, tako da će biti vjerovatno više razmena sa osnovne linije i prilagodit ću se tome i spremit ću se taj meč. Ok, ga je Saša? Nona, možeš li da nam kažeš koje su specifičnosti tvojeg kretanja na travi, po čemu se razlikuje od drugih igrača? Ba... Kako statistika kaže, jedan sam od bržih igrača na turu, pa verovatno sama ta brzina ponekad možda je kontraproduktivna, kako bih rekao, na travi, jer taj dinamični prvi korak ponekad je previše dinamičan i onda se oklizne. Ne verujem da je 
problem sa terenima, jer su ovo najbolji tereni na travi ubedljivo u svetu. Ovaj, verovatno ima malo utica činjenica da smo igrali prvi meč pod krovom i onda ta ovaj, vlaga utiče malo na površinu trave ovaj, i e, tri dana je padala kiša, manje više non stop, tako da je to isto verovatno malo ovlažilo teren, a, ali jednostavno činjenica da nisam igrao dve godine na travi, da sam došao sa nekoliko meseci igre na šljaci koja je potpuno drugačija podloga na kojoj se kližeš stalno. Verovatno se sve to ima nekog uticaja. Ovaj, naravno da ne želim da padam, ne želim da se ovo dešava jer je to svaki put rizik da se ne daj Bože nešto dogodi ovaj, sa telom. Ali eto, ovaj, za sada je sve dobro, dok god padam i pobeđujem, nije loše. Ok, we just have time for one more quick question in Serbian, Nenad. I'm sorry. Uh, Nole, uh, ciao, sve čestitke na izuzetnoj pobedi u Vertiri, u odbrani dvostruke titule. Uh, molim te, reci mi, da li je, da kažemo, realno očekivati da će jedan od tvojih karijernih ciljeva biti to da budeš igrač sa najviše osvojenih Wimbledonskih trofeja u istoriji? <laughs> pa naravno da bih voleo, ali mislim, mislim ako se ne varam, Federih ima osam, ja pet, tako da ovaj, ima još da se radi. Ne znam koliko ću dugo igrati tenis na ovakvom vrhunskom nivou, ovaj, dogod naravno imam želju i motivaciju, dogod sam i spreman fizički, mentalno, dogod imam tu neku svežinu i želju i volju i podršku bližnjih, ja ću nastaviti da igram. Ali sve, sve je moguće u životu, stvari se danas nekako dešavaju vrlo brzo u životima našim, mnogo, mnogo nekih čudnih situacija ovako van terena sa ovim virusom i tako. Mislim, stvarno puno nekih uh, okolnosti koje su neočekivane, neko nesvakidašnje, tako da ovaj, verujem da... Uh, Da sam na dobrom putu trenutno, ovaj, da, da osvojim još jedan Grand Slam, ovde igram dosta dobro, e, ima još da se igra naravno, ovaj, ali ne razmišljam o tom rekordu ovde na Wimbledonu, iako je to naravno meni omiljeni nekako uvek bio turnir koji sam želeo da osvojim pet puta je stvarno izvanredno, tako da e, iako to ne oborim do kraja svoje karijere neću biti nesrećan sigurno. I'm sorry Hvala guys, puno. we have to finish it there, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.